Miller. Miller is, um, he was the chemist also that he tried to prove how um, life could come up from nothing. And he used... Help us a little bit with the, <laughs> the Miller, because we explained a lot lesson about Miller. Okay. Do you remember something about Miller? Specifically, what do you want to know? Pregúntale a alguien, ¿Qué hablamos de Miller? Alejandra, ¿qué dijimos de Miller la semana pasada? ¿Cuál? ¿La mente o, o, o cómo? ¿Se te fue la mente o se te fue de la mente? Que no es, like, como se dice, el experimento. Ok, 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 dice él, ¿qué es? Ok, some kind of isn't it an experiment where um, he where he saw like electricity like some like electric particles that could start something like like could start life just by like um, particles from like um, space right he combined a kind of different stuff elements and then he applied electricity to prove that with that combination you can create some kind of life to prove that at the beginning it was just a coincidence that all the life is just a coincidence. That is possible just because a coincidence. That's the idea of Miller. So now, what did you discover Well, um, that his experiment was like um, an icon in evolution and proving that um, Darwinism is what's true in the And, but they are now having a lot of doubt about it because um, the elements and the molecules that he used in his experiment, they are saying that it was they are probably not what was really around in like the early times of the earth, even though they're not really sure, no one knows what was really there. They say that the like the specifically the hydrogen the hydrogen that he used was too thin and it would have easily escaped out of the atmosphere. And so like they they assume these different kinds of other elements that would have actually been more realistic to be around in that time. And they said that if you were to do the same experiment even with the, like with the molecules that are more likely to have been there, that it would have produced formaldehyde and cyanide, which is in small totality and balmy fluid. So it wouldn't even have created amino acids. Even if it would have created amino acids, it's still the building block, not like itself. And so ¿Cuál es an, an, an amino acid? Es un amino ácido. <laughs> Pregúntale a Chef Divina. ¿Qué es más? ¿Cuál es el amino ácido? Inside the cells, right? Is it for your muscles? It's a kind of protein, yes, yes. exactly. Protein. Bueno, es una proteína, los aminoácidos. Acuérdense que los que hacen ejercicio van y compran en las tiendas esas de. ¿Cómo se llaman? ¿Cómo se llaman las tiendas que venden para los que hacen ejercicio? Oh, GMT. Exactly. That, that sort, ¿no? Y ahí entendemos aquí aminoácidos y son básicamente proteínas, ¿no? La proteína, digamos, es como la comida de la vida, entonces por eso eh, es parte de lo que cuestiona él. So, repítanos, mija, ¿qué fue lo que dijo eh, eh, acerca, o lo que encontró él acerca de los aminoácidos? Well, with the first time when Billy did his experiment, that's what was the product of the experiment with the amino acids. But he was saying that even if they had, even if they had the amino acids, it was still not life in itself. It was right. just a building block of life, and that even with that, they were still a long way from actually creating life. Let me ask a question. Uh, Sara, ¿cuál sería la diferencia entre vida y una proteína? ¿Entre qué? Oh. Vida life yeah. y una proteína. Between real life and an amino acid. Amino acid is what is in life. Like, it is what it is. How do I explain this? It's like what's inside. It's a difficult question, huh? Yeah. Well, they yeah. caught me off guard right here. Well, <laughs> Okay, que te ayude Ricardo, Ricardo. What can be the difference between the real life and an amino acid? Real life means um, what makes what what is made out of the amino acid. Right. Protein. But it's not the same, right? No. This is very important. Ah, thank you. <laughs>